What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're revisiting an easy solo raid chest glitch that you can use to acquire all of the Last Wish Red Border raid weapons without ever having to actually go into the raid and without having to have the DLC. This glitch has been in Destiny for several years now and it only takes a couple of minutes to pull off. What's different about this glitch now is that as of today's update, this glitch can be used by those who don't have the Forsaken DLC to still be able to get the red borders of these weapons. This raid chest will reward any weapon or armor piece that you've already unlocked. And that's always been the case. But with the addition of Riven's Wishes and the new wish tokens that can be redeemed through Marasov, Guardians who have never stepped foot inside of the Last Wish can easily obtain the first initial pattern, and then use this glitch as a way to obtain the rest of the red borders, saving you from spending wish tokens and deep sight harmonics. We'll be using a solar warlock to get to this raid chest, but this out of bounds glitch can be done on any class. I would recommend the use of a sword to help with mobility, and hunters will want to use the stompies. Strained grapples will also make this whole process a lot easier, but it's not necessary. If you're on PC, you'll need to cap your frame rate, but it's only something that you need to do on PC. To get to this raid chest, you'll need to head to Resilvia. You'll need to locate these rocks here as you enter into the area. Jump up onto the branch and then through the hole. And now you're under the map of Resilvia. From here, you'll need to jump across to that floating island. Hunters and Titans can pretty much just make a straight shot, but Warlocks will need to use Heat Rises and go the long way around. Pop across the exposed ledge and then glide around the side. Once you've backed into the corner, you should now load into the Divalian Mist. Jump up onto the tiny ledge that's on the purple boulder, and then jump through the hole in the rocks. Once you've gotten to the top, you should be loaded into the Tower of Opened Eyes. If you auto-die when the zone changes, you will need to restart the whole process. Drop back down the hole and play leapfrog across a few sets of boulders until you're able to start scaling the side of the mountain on an invisible floor.
Just keep climbing up the mountainside until you're at the very top of the tower, and then head to the far back, where you should see a broken bridge. Drop down to the platform and then go right up to the wall. This should load you into the first spire, right outside of the first encounter of the last wish and just before the first hidden chest. And from here, you can follow along these bridge structures to get to the first chest. And then it's just as simple as swapping characters and doing it again. So if you're still after these red border weapons and don't have the Forsaken DLC, or just don't raid very often, then be sure to take advantage of this amazing solo raid chest glitch. And with that being said, I wish you all the best of luck throughout the rest of this season. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. And until next time guardians, this has been Profane wishing you all some happy hunting.